Hey guys, welcome back to another episode. We're out in Lake Minnetonka again, doing a little fun fishing. Got my buddy Mark over here from St. Louis in town. We're gonna try to show him a good time, try to get on a few big girls, but we'll see what happens. We're gonna just do the same thing we always do. We're gonna go for probably flip some foil. Start out at about 15, 18 foot. Maybe work out a little bit, maybe work in, depending on what happens. Throw some power shot, some punch rig. I'll get him on a Nico rig on a spinning reel. And let's get at it. There's a lot of weeds. Rock bass. That's a coontail there. No. Really? There's a fish. Not very big. Oh, I think he came off. Snake. Yep. Pretty guy say that once. Yep. That was pray me. Where's my needle nose? Under, uh, underneath your console. Blood. Blood in the water. Wait, oh, oh, you're getting a bite. Oh, oh. <laughs> Okay, we're gonna go after this cast. Oh, see, as soon as I say that, no one hits it. Damn it, he missed it. Oh, I think he came back. Gator, Gator, just weed him out for you. Gator, Gator. There you go. It's another one. One of the boat. That's fine. Yeah, you can flip him. Flipping the boat? Yeah, flip him. Yeah, buddy. Yeah. Yep. There's hundreds of fish that size out here. Oh, that's a bite. Oh, he dropped it. He dropped it. Sometimes you'll feel him hit it and they'll and they'll pick it up and drop it. Just let it sit there. Sometimes you can get him to bite again. Mmm. Coontail. Oh, there's a lot of coontail out here. Mixed in. Come on. Ooh, that's a nice one. Bud. <laughs> Too many things going on. Oh, I thought he was way bigger than that. He's small. Why did he look so big? I don't know. You didn't feel like a nice one. Shit, he looked like a four pounder almost. I thought the thing was huge when he jumped. This is a little guy. It's a little nice fish. Damn. Oh. 
He was running with it. I don't think he's that big. Get in the boat! Ass, a little guy. I think that's where you're casting is right up there. That was my guesstimate. Stop. Oh. Nope. Thought it was too. Swimming away with it probably. Ah. Whenever I think we're supposed to leave. Yep. As you think you're gonna leave. Pop another one. And just flip it out about that far drop. let it drop sit there for five or ten seconds give it a couple pumps and reel it in do the same thing it's all about speed flipping as many times as possible because the shit's so thick that you have to hit them in the head with it for them to fucking bite it so you're just in and out in and out in and out in and out the more times you flip, the better probability you guys hit something. Oh! Oh, he's got one! Look at that! Get in the boat! <laughs> Here you go. There, now you're a true Minnetonka bass fisherman. Because you caught one flipping foil. This is the epitome of fishing Tonka, flipping foil. Come on, Mark. No. Get a bite. Chances are it's going to be big if it's in here. You're not going to get as many bites, but you have a much higher probability of it being big. It's kind of why we've, or why we came. That's a four pounder. That's a four pounder. Nice fish. Oh, boys. Oh, yeah. That's four. Just at it. <laughs> Sweet. You want a picture of that one? Someone thinks that you're just sticking biggins. That's why you flip foil. Biggins. Yeah, I mean, but you can go for an hour and not get a bite. 
and all of a sudden you just stick a pig. It's uh, that's just like one of the best feelings in bass fishing. You're you're flipping braid, and you set the hook, and it's just solid. Feels so good. All right, guys. Thanks for watching today's episode. It was really great getting Mark out in the water and sticking a few bass on Tonka. But tomorrow, we're going to go to a little secret small lake here in the metro area that I like to go to. It's got a lot of really big bass in it. I'm really hoping we can get him as personal best bass. I should say, personal best largemouth. This personal best smallmouth was out in Mille Lacs last year before I started this whole YouTube thing. Probably about a five pounder or so. Not too bad. We're going to try to break that five pound smallmouth in a largemouth. I think his probably biggest largemouth is about three pounds. It shouldn't be too hard to do, but hey, you never know. It's fishing. It can be tough sometimes. But I just want to thank you guys for watching. Make sure you like and subscribe below, and we'll see you out in the water.